it's Annika the amputee and today I'm going to tell you about how I drive. As most of you know I'm a right below knee amputee and most drivers drive with their right foot. However with a prosthetic I cannot I have no flexion or what is the word flexion or I have a traditional prosthetic ankle there is no way for me to move my ankle. Therefore, it makes driving dip very difficult. I have driven with my prosthetic, and I do know people who drive with it. I just am not very comfortable because you have to lift up your entire hip every time you're changing pedals, which also puts a lot of strain on your hip. Now, that being said, I learned very quickly to drive with my left foot, and it was pretty easy to drive with the traditional pedals, the brake on one side and the pedal where it normally is, and learn to drive with my left foot. But my problem is, like I said, I have hip problems. Is actually putting more strain on the side of my hip. So, thanks to the lovely Semper Fi Fund, they helped train me how to drive a left accelerator pedal car as well as help install one into my car. So this car, this is Frederick. Don't shake your head at me. But so this car has been with me since college. I bought it in college. It's actually my snowboarding vehicle. Great car. I love it. And it is a standard Nissan Rogue. However, if you come with me in here, I now have three pedals down there. And I will show you very soon how it works. I start my car as normal. And there's a second beep there. If you haven't driven my car, you wouldn't know this is an extra beep. But there is a little button that they installed right here, and it's blinking at me. And basically what it is, it beeped at me again saying, hey, push me, because what that does is it initiates the left accelerator pedal. And now, the traditional accelerator pedal does not work. But the brake and the accelerator work as a normal car, it's just on the left side, which makes it a lot easier for me to drive. Now that being said, turn off the car, everything's reset. If I had one of my friends driving my car, they can drive it like a normal car. The left accelerator pedal doesn't work unless you press that button. So now, traditionally, right side works. And it beeps at you. If you don't press it within the first 30 seconds, it doesn't work anymore. So we're good to go. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to drive. It doesn't look any different. It does take a real rehab specialist to teach you how to do this. So don't do this on your own, but it is pretty, it's pretty handy and pretty convenient for me being a right amputee. It's an empty parking lot. Do not fret friends. Nobody's here be hit. So in drive, it works just the same as a traditional accelerator pedal, except it's on the left side. There's really not much else to it. Like I said, it's a convenience thing for me rather than anything else. Some people, some amputees like to drive the traditional way, just crossing your foot over. Some amputees will drive with their prosthetic legs, but this was something that felt safest for me. When I am driving, nobody knows I'm driving with left accelerator pedal, whereas or if that's something that you're worried about. Yeah, and that's pretty much all I have for you. All right, thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned something. So subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this and leave a comment below if there's anything else that you'd like me to show you how I do in the life. That was a weird phrasing. Leave a comment below if there's anything else that you want to see how I, what's the word, adapt for being in right below me. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.